Hello my friends, for today's beer review we're going to be taking a look at Sierra Nevada's Hoptimum Whole Cone Imperial IPA. I am so excited to try this beer. This is something that I have been wanting to try and have been looking for for a very long time now. I remember, in fact, this is one of those beers that got me interested in craft beer drinking from the very beginning. Um, of course, it was nothing more than just label appeal. I saw this and was like, man, that just looks cool. And that is cool. It's basically kind of like a old school dude's suit, as you can see. Yeah, but the head is a hop. So, that's interesting. Um, this is a pretty legendary beer, from what I hear, and this is probably one of the best offerings from Sierra Nevada, from what I hear also. I've never had this beer before, that's why I'm really excited to try it. Um, it says, this is a 2014 release of Whole Cone Imperial IPA, the ultimate Whole Cone Hop Experience, is what it says. And uh, let's read the uh, commercial description. Hoptimum is the biggest whole cone IPA we have ever produced. A 100 IBU whole cone hurricane of flavor. Aggressively hopped, dry hopped, and torpedoed. Hoptimum delivers ultra intense flavors to hop fanatics everywhere. And um, it definitely is true what they say because this beer comes in at a whopping 10.4% alcohol by volume. That is a huge amount. This is a monstrous beer. And you're going to definitely be feeling it after you drink one. Two, and you'll probably be where you want to go if you want to go somewhere, as I like to say. Um, so without further ado, what more can I say? Let's get the cap off, give it a pour, a smell, and a taste. I'll be drinking this out of my IPA glass today. And uh, look at the cap. Even the cap looks awesome on this beer. It's actually a um, pretty much a perfect copy of the artwork from the label. So definitely want to take this cap off um, carefully here because I don't have this cap yet. All right, into the glass she pours. Very very light, kind of orangey copper. Let's see if we can get a bit of head on this. Very nice. Look at that. Poured a super big two, two and a half fingers of just slightly off white, soapy, bubbly head. Um, plenty of little bubbles streaming up to the top to reinforce the head. Even with that huge ABV, maybe the head will stick around on this beer. Um, up into the light, it looks just like apple juice, just kind of that orangey copper color, as you can see. Um, let's give it a smell. Lots of um, things you'd expect from an IPA. You've got your citrus, hops, grapefruit, oranges, apples, tangerines. Very sweet smelling. Probably due in part to the high alcohol. It smells absolutely delicious, and it does have that slight caramel wing that I love to find in my IPA. So, without further ado, let's give Hoptimum a taste and see if it is all it's cracked up to be. Oh, yeah. Wow. That is fantastic. You've got... Sweet, oranges and apples, grapefruit, tangerine. The hops are so incredible. And um, the bitter bite is actually up front. You swallow, it's like boom, bitter, 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 bitter. And it starts to slowly tail off into this sweet, delicious, floral bouquet of just citrus fruits and fruits like... Uh, tangerine, persimmon maybe even, it's getting a little bit out there, but this is fantastic. This is by far one of the best IPAs I have ever drank. In fact, I would be willing to go as far as to say it goes second place, if not toe to toe, for my first place rank for my best IPA I've ever drank. 
I don't think it's quite going to make it to first place. My, the best IPA I've ever drank in my life was from Three Floyds Brewing Company. I've never found any of their beers because their stuff is so sought after and rare. But I did have the absolute privilege in uh, Kuma's Corner in Chicago. I got to try their Sumerian Sabretooth Berserker Imperial IPA on tap. And that was IPA heaven. Let me tell you. This is the gates of heaven. We're getting very close. This is fantastic. This, without a doubt, is a 10-star, 100 out of 100, 5 out of 5 um, IPA. Definitely need to drink this. Now, this is not going to be an IPA for the faint of heart because it's incredibly bitty, bitty. It's incredibly bitter up front with those 100 IBUs, and you can taste every single one of those IBUs. Um, but it does fade into a very good sweetness after that initial bite of bitterness. So um, I would definitely call this a um, <laughs> advanced IPA, not really for beginners and probably not for the intermediate either. You really got to have to like your super hoppy, bitter beers, but that bitterness is also rewarded with an amazingly sweet floral bouquet of apples, oranges, persimmons, grapefruit, hops, and uh, tangerine, and these just delicious, delicious tastes. So anyway, that has been Sierra Nevada's Hoptimum. Hope you guys enjoyed the review as always, and I am going to finish enjoying this delicious, savory beer.